Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Bridge coming to you with tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw Raw Whoa! Monday Night Raw recap. In this video, we're talking all about John Cena versus Curtis Axel on the big Monday Night Raw. Honestly, this is one of the biggest moments of Monday Night Raw. I, I loved this segment. I really I was really into this. I was I was um you know, I, I wasn't really falling for what John Cena was selling during his promo. Uh, with Stephanie, but basically, I love Curtis Axel. Um, you know, I, I think this is a very fun thing that he's doing, basically coming out and saying that he never was eliminated from the Royal Rumble. I will admit that, honestly, um, I, I didn't know where this was going from the first thing, and I think this is it's pretty cool. This is almost like a Zack Ryder thing for Curtis Axel, where basically he's picking up something that they saw on the internet uh, with basically fans, you know, making a joke out of the Royal Rumble because they, they didn't want Roman Reigns to be the winner this year, and basically they've turned this into, you know, Axel mania, Curtis Axel wanting his shot. Uh, they've basically, you know, forgotten about the fact that Curtis Axel came out there on Monday Night Raw and whined and cried about not be, being eliminated and, and basically Basically, um, it was uh, uh, Dean Ambrose came running down to the ring and immediately threw him over the top rope so he would stop whining about not being eliminated. Basically, they've been moving on and just going in a different direction uh, from there. And, uh, you know, Curtis Axel going out and buying the Axel Mania shirts. I'm not lying. If he's in a parking lot before WrestleMania selling those shirts, I'm buying one. I want one, even if I have to make one myself. It's gonna go be. It's gonna be going down. Um, basically, I, I'm having a ton of fun right now. Uh, with Monday Night Raw, basically, this was basically John Cena coming out. He came out there like in his normal fashion, coming down to the ring with a microphone, saying that basically he wasn't going to whine and cry about not getting a United States title shot at, at WrestleMania. Basically, he just said, hey, I'm going to be moving on to bigger and better things. I'm going to announce myself as a participant in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I think this is the same thing that he did last year at one point, being uh, named that he was going to be going into the, uh, the Battle Royal. But instead, Stephanie McMahon came out, basically, saying not so fast uh basically you're not going to be able to name your own matches at wrestlemania you know wrestlemania has always been a big and bad thing uh <coughs> you're gonna have to earn your shot and basically john is is somebody that's not gonna be able to stamp his name into the andre the giant memorial battle royal that thing is way too more special than John Cena just being able to say, yeah, I'm in there. Uh, basically john and stephanie go back and forth back and forth and from there um Basically, Stephanie McMahon gives John Cena what he wants uh, w without really realizing what she did. I have no no clue. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, Curtis Axel came out and interrupted Stephanie and John. And, and basically how Curtis Axel got away with this, I have no idea why Stephanie wouldn't put him into the place. But he's going crazy with the Axelmania, but he's never been eliminated. I'm just saying, this is me. When I look at this, we're not going to get the Hulk Hogan versus John Cena match, which was, you know, sort of rumored by the fans last year. Hulk Hogan versus Rusev isn't going to be going down at WrestleMania this year because of John Cena. Am I the only one who thinks that, you know, Curtis Axel is going to be running into a big fist at WrestleMania 31? Hogan's been doing a lot of things for WWE. He's only been asking for this one more match, um, you know, and, um, you know, Axel's been sporting the red and yellow, then ripping the shirt posing to the fans, I don't think it's too much of a reach to think that, you know, you know, Axel might be running into Hulk Hogan's fist at Mania. Basically, Stephanie says, hey, if you can go out tonight and beat Curtis Axel in a match on Monday Night Raw, you can have your match against Rusev and then throw it in there if you talk him into it. So, <laughs> I, I, I didn't get that part of the stipulation to the match, but basically, Cena goes out uh, he wins uh, the match against Curtis Axel with the STF in under two minutes. Um, and from there, basically, after the match, Lana and Rusev rushed out to the ring. Uh, Rusev again turned down John Cena. So now we are, you know, basically saying that if Cena won, he could have the United States Championship match. But then here is Rusev basically telling John Cena, no, no title match. So basically, we're in the same spot as we were 15 minutes ago before the John Cena segment happened on Monday Night Raw. Something has to be happening next week. It's got to be a big one where John Cena makes Rusev take this match. Whether if it maybe he puts Lana into the uh, <laughs> into the AA, or maybe uh, maybe puts him in there, and Lana has to accept. Not sure, but something's gonna be going down next week with this.